The difference begins with the aircraft themselves. The Airbus A380 was born in an era when global travel seemed headed toward mega hubs and enormous aircraft connecting the world's busiest cities. To bring that concept to life, Airbus created a double-deck giant with a maximum takeoff weight that redefined the upper limits of commercial engineering. Countering that weight required not one or two engines, but four high-thrust turbofans working in unison. Boeing approached the challenge from a completely different angle years later. Instead of scaling up size, they scaled up efficiency. Aviation regulations had changed, fuel prices had risen, and airlines now demanded aircraft that could fly farther and adapt to point-to-point -point travel. This new market shaped the 777X, which is the largest twin-engine airliner ever built. Its existence depended entirely on the GE-9X, an engine powerful enough to replace the role once filled by four. These opposing aircraft set the foundation for everything their engines were designed to do. Four-engine aircraft like the A380 were once the standard for long-distance travel. Early ETOPS rules limited how far twin-engine jets could operate from diversion airports, so four engines offered both power and peace of mind. The A380's design leaned into that philosophy, spreading its enormous lift requirements across four engines that each produced around 70,000 pounds of thrust. The 777X represents the evolution of that philosophy. Improvements in engine reliability because of material science and certification rules allowed Boeing to depend on only two engines for long-haul flights. But these two engines couldn't simply match older twins. They needed to exceed the collective performance of four engines from the previous generation. This necessity shaped every aspect of the GE9X's design like fan diameter and internal temperature capability. Before we move forward, we want you to think whether losing two engines is worth the efficiency gains we get today, or does a four-engine layout still offer advantages we shouldn't be so quick to abandon? Let us know your insights in the comments below, and we'll get back to it later in the video. The A380 entered service with two engine choices, the Rolls-Royce Trent 900 or the Engine Alliance GP 7200. Both engines were built using proven technologies and architectures from earlier wide-body power plants. They were designed to provide reliable thrust for decades, rather than push the boundaries of efficiency. The Trent 900 uses Rolls-Royce's signature three-spool architecture, allowing different engine sections to rotate at different speeds. This layout improves performance and helps reduce stall during challenging flight conditions. It's a refined engine that's optimized for smooth operation and stability across the A380's massive weight range. The GP7200 draws heavily from both GE and Pratt and Whitney's engineering heritage. Its core design evolved from Pratt's PW4000 family, while GE contributed to aerodynamic refinements and low-pressure system technology. The combination produced an engine known for excellent durability and strong fuel performance for its time. Although these engines were advanced when introduced, their materials and bypass ratios were shaped by early 2000s technology. They were designed around the needs of a super jumbo rather than the global efficiency race that would define the next decade of aviation. On the other hand, the GE9X takes a completely different approach. The 777X's GE9X engine has a 134-inch fan diameter that makes it the largest turbofan ever developed for commercial use. That size isn't for show, it enables an ultra-high bypass ratio that dramatically improves fuel efficiency by moving far more air around the engine core rather than through it. To support that giant fan, GE built the fan blades and casing from carbon fiber composite to reduce weight and improve resistance to fatigue. The engine core uses ceramic matrix composites. They're lightweight and heat-resistant materials that allow internal temperatures far higher than what would be possible with traditional metals. Higher temperatures improve thermal efficiency, and that further translates into lower fuel burn during long-range crews. The GE9X's combustion system is engineered to produce cleaner emissions than earlier engines and aerodynamic blade shapes minimize drag across a wide range of operating conditions. Together, these advancements create an engine capable of delivering over 100,000 pounds of thrust with fuel burn numbers that outperform previous generations by a significant margin. In short, the GE9X is less a successor to older engines and more a shift in how large turbofans are engineered for the future. But all this engineering power raises one question. 
How does it actually compare when you measure raw thrust against the A380's four engines? The A380 generates more than 280,000 pounds of total thrust across its four engines. Each engine contributes a portion of the work and distributes stress and offers redundancy at extreme takeoff weights. The 777X, however, relies on roughly 220,000 pounds of thrust from just two engines. That means each GE9X must produce thrust numbers approaching historical records for commercial aviation while still meeting stringent efficiency requirements. What makes the comparison striking is that the 777X achieves similar mission capability with significantly lower total fuel burn. That efficiency is an engineering victory. More importantly, it also represents a turning point in how airlines evaluate long-range aircraft. But that's not all. Fuel efficiency is the central reason twin-engine aircraft dominate today's long-haul market. The GE9X's massive fan diameter, lightweight composite materials and high internal temperature capability allow it to deliver significantly lower specific fuel consumption compared to the engines on the A380. To give you a better idea, the GE9X's engines give roughly 15% better fuel burn than the A380's Trent 900 or GP7200 engines on an equivalent power basis. If we consider on a per-seat basis, it is expected to deliver up to 20-25% to lower fuel cost compared to the A380 on routes below full capacity. By contrast, the A380's engines were designed before climate targets tightened and before fuel prices became unpredictable. They were optimized around lifting power rather than extreme efficiency. Even though they perform well for their intended mission, they cannot match the fuel economy advances built into the GE9X. For airlines deciding where to invest, numbers like these matter. 10% savings across thousands of flight hours translate into millions of dollars. It's a quiet but powerful reason fleet strategies have shifted toward aircraft built around engines like the GE9X. The difference between two engines and four becomes even more meaningful when maintenance enters the picture. The A380 requires twice as many engines to service and overhaul. Even when engines are reliable, the logistics of maintaining four large turbofans increase cost and downtime. The 777X benefits from modern modular engine construction and advanced health monitoring technology built into the GE9X. Ceramic matrix composites and carbon fiber materials reduce wear and extend service intervals. They also allow airlines to keep the aircraft in operation longer between overhauls. With fewer engines, fewer spare parts, and fewer maintenance events, the 777X offers airlines a clear operational advantage. It's a difference that compounds year after year, route after route. These differences show up in the air as well and shape how each aircraft behaves once the wheels leave the ground. The A380 climbs smoothly thanks to its combined multi-engine thrust. Its four engines offer stability at very high gross weights and provide balanced power distribution that suits its size and mission. The 777X, meanwhile, uses its engines in partnership with advanced wing design. The folding wingtips and highly efficient aerodynamics help the aircraft reduce drag during cruise, making the GE9X's work even more effective. This harmony between wing and engine design allows the aircraft to achieve long-range performance that rivals much larger jets. The A380 represents the peak of the four-engine era, a time when sheer size was viewed as the future of air travel. Its engines were built to move unprecedented weight, and they succeeded brilliantly within that design philosophy. The 777X represents the next step. Its engines are built around advanced materials, aerodynamic refinement, and the need for airlines to operate efficiently across long distances with flexible passenger loads. The GE9X showcases how far turbofan design has progressed and how new regulations as well as fuel costs and emissions targets shape modern engineering. Together, these aircraft capture two chapters of aviation history. The A380 shows where aviation was. The 777X shows where it's going. And that question from earlier? Efficiency wins long-term. Twins might win in terms of economics, but quads provide stability and power we shouldn't dismiss entirely. A lot of it depends on mission demands. The engines powering the 777X and A380 are statements about their missions and the priorities of modern aviation. Both have reshaped expectations. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. 
We'll be back soon with another video breaking down your beloved aircraft. The original 777 became one of Boeing's most successful long-range aircraft. It was admired for its efficiency and reliability. Then, aviation changed. The 787 introduced composite materials and high-efficiency aerodynamics, and Airbus responded with the A350. It was lighter and more economical on long routes. Airlines wanted a successor to the 777-300ER that kept its payload and range, but with performance that matched the newest generation of wide bodies. Simply modifying the old wing was not enough. To achieve the improvements airlines demanded, Boeing needed a structure with significantly better lift-to-drag efficiency, lower weight, and also the ability to support new ultra-high bypass engines. That challenge set the stage for the 777 X-Wing. It was a clean sheet redesign that would become the defining element of the aircraft. As those pressures narrowed the choices Boeing could make, the shape of the solution began forming. The 777 X-Wing doesn't stand out because it is large. It's because of how it uses that size. With a span exceeding 71 meters, it has the highest aspect ratio of any Boeing commercial aircraft. A long slender wing reduces induced drag and increases aerodynamic efficiency during cruise. Compared with the 777-300ER, the new wing has a more pronounced taper and a smoother curvature along the leading edge. Engineers used thousands of computational fluid dynamics simulations to shape the final geometry and optimize sweep and camber for fuel-efficient flight at high altitude. What is visible is a wing designed to lift a heavy wide body across long distances while burning less fuel per passenger. And it's shaped by a fundamentally different aerodynamic philosophy. But a wing with that geometry needed a structure capable of supporting that shape without adding weight. The switch from metal to carbon fiber reinforced polymer is one of the largest structural changes between the 777 and the 777X. Composites offer advantages that aluminum cannot match. It promises lower weight, resistance to fatigue as well as the ability to tailor stiffness by adjusting fiber orientation. Boeing has stated that the 777X wing construction draws from experience with the 787 but scaled for a larger aircraft. Each wing is made from large composite panels laid by automated fiber placement machines and cured in industrial autoclaves. The spars, ribs, and skins are integrated through bonding and fastening techniques designed for strength without unnecessary weight. While Boeing publishes general material descriptions, specifics such as resin formulations and internal reinforcement patterns are not publicly disclosed. These details determine how the wing handles long-term stress and vibrational loads, and they form part of Boeing's proprietary structural strategy. Before we move forward, let us ask you this. If you follow material science, what do you think is the next breakthrough after carbon fiber? Share your insights in the comments below and we'll highlight the most intriguing ideas at the end. One of the most visible innovations on the 777X is its folding wingtip that's designed to give the aircraft the aerodynamic benefits of a long wingspan while still fitting into existing airport gates. Each tip measures about 3.5 meters and folds upward when the aircraft is on the ground. FAA documentation outlines the essential components hinge assemblies, locking pins, position sensors, and cockpit indications. The system prevents the aircraft from applying takeoff thrust unless the wingtips are fully extended and locked. What remains undisclosed are deeper logic controls like software routines, redundancy pathways, and internal load monitoring thresholds. A wing this large must withstand enormous aerodynamic forces. To address this, Boeing integrated gust load alleviation through rapid adjustments of control surfaces. When the wing encounters a disturbance, the system responds within fractions of a second to redistribute aerodynamic pressure. The underlying concept has been discussed publicly, though the exact algorithms used to control it remain confidential. The wing's composite construction also contributes to strength. Composites allow engineers to tune stiffness so the wing bends predictably under load, reducing stress concentrations along the spars. This bending is a designed behavior that improves both comfort and structural longevity. During certification, the 777 X-Wing underwent static and fatigue test. One publicly documented event was the static test in which the wing failed before reaching its target load. It prompted reinforcement and redesign. Boeing has stated that subsequent testing met all regulatory requirements, though the full structural margins are not disclosed. The flex of the 777X wing is one of its most defining characteristics. Long composite wings bend more than traditional aluminum structures. 
That flex is an essential aerodynamic tool rather than an undesired side effect. As the wing loads during climb and cruise, it rises smoothly and redistributes forces along its length. This flex reduces peak stress and improves ride quality by softening the wing's response to turbulence. Unlike rigid wings, which transmit more force to the fuselage, flexible wings absorb disturbances through controlled deformation. The flex also helps maintain efficiency. Wing angle is altered relative to the airflow at different points along its span. This bending contributes to an optimal lift distribution. However, the exact elasticity profiles are not released outside the company, but flex alone isn't enough. A wing of this size and flexibility requires a sophisticated network of control surfaces. The 777 X-Wing incorporates flaperons, spoilers, ailerons, and high lift devices, all coordinated through a fly-by-wire system that constantly adjusts to maintain stability and efficiency. The large flaperons combine roll control with additional lift during takeoff and landing. Spoilers assist with descent and braking, while the ailerons near the wingtips fine-tune lateral control. Because the wing is long and flexible, these surfaces must work together more dynamically than on shorter, stiffer wings. Wings on large aircraft serve not only as aerodynamic structures, but also as fuel tanks. With the 777X, the expanded wingspan provides increased internal volume, allowing the aircraft to carry more fuel without adding fuselage tanks. This supports the 777X's long-range missions. Fuel inside the wing influences its behavior. As the aircraft burns fuel, the weight distribution shifts and changes how the wing flexes and how loads are carried. Engineers designed fuel transfer systems to maintain the aircraft's center of gravity by using pumps and baffles to manage movement. The wide span allows fuel to be spread over a larger area to reduce stress and help stabilize the aircraft. With a total capacity of about 52,300 gallons or 198,000 liters, the wing houses multiple tanks. Even temperature changes are considered. The large surface area of the composite skin allows the fuel to act as a thermal buffer and moderates wing temperatures at altitude. The wing's high aspect ratio reduces drag and increases fuel efficiency. The flexible structure enhances stability, while the wingtip extension enlarges the effective span without compromising airport compatibility. These aerodynamic gains support the GE-9X engines, allowing them to operate efficiently across long distances. Boeing's published figures indicate around a 10% improvement in fuel burn compared with the 777-300ER, with the wing accounting for a significant portion of that improvement. The wing also enables the aircraft to maintain smooth airflow at high altitudes. Each element works together to make the 777X competitive with newer wide bodies while preserving the core strengths of the original 777. Engineers evaluate flutter characteristics, vibrations, stiffness, thermal behavior, and aerodynamic loads. Boeing has shown footage of these tests, hydraulic rigs bending the wing, environmental chambers simulating temperature extremes, ground tests validating the wingtip mechanism. Flight testing further refined the wing's behavior. Observers have noted the graceful upward flex during takeoff and the stability during turbulence. While Boeing releases some performance data, the detailed results remain internal. This is typical for commercial aircraft, where only regulatory required data are public. Once those evaluations were complete, the broader meaning of the design became clearer. The 777X wing marks a shift in how wide-body aircraft achieve efficiency. Instead of relying solely on engine improvements, the wing itself becomes a primary tool for performance. Its span, flexibility, folding tips, and composite construction represent a culmination of decades of aerodynamic research brought together in a single structure. Its influence will extend beyond this aircraft. Future commercial designs will likely explore even longer spans, smarter control surfaces, and even more advanced composites. The 777X wing demonstrates that large aircraft can adopt technologies once reserved for smaller or experimental platforms, reshaping expectations for long-haul travel. About that question from earlier, current research supports thermoplastic composites, hybrid laminates, and nano-reinforced polymers because they offer faster manufacturing and a better damage tolerance. If this breakdown helped you understand what makes the 777X wing so distinctive, subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts below, especially which part of this wing's design you found most interesting.